And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday. It's the 13th of August, 2020. It was on this date, 1931, Dr. Michael Shadid established the first cooperatively owned and operated hospital in the United States. It was in Elk City, Oklahoma. He patterned it after the Oklahoma tradition of farm cooperatives. He envisioned a cooperative hospital which would charge an annual membership fee and doctors would be paid a salary out of those fees to provide basic medical care to any of the members. There was a big controversy about it and Dr. Shadid almost lost his medical license for the unethical solicitation of patients. It's the birthday of the first man to print a book in English, William Caxton, born in Kent, England, 1422. The printing press was about 25 years old. It had just started to spread beyond Germany. And Caxton realized the new technology would make the job of distributing a book a lot easier. He had translated a book about the history of Troy, and he wanted people to read it. So he established the first printing press in England and printed all the literature he could find, including Chaucer's Canterbury Tales. And for a long time, people in England referred to printed books as Caxton's. It's the birthday of Alfred Hitchcock, the movie director, London, 1899. His father was a very strict father, and once when the little boy misbehaved, his father sent him to a police station. They locked him in a cell for a while to teach him a lesson, and it taught him a lesson he carried with him the rest of his life. He was terrified of the police, rarely drove a car so that he could not be pulled over. Went on to make great suspense and horror horror films, Rebecca and Dial M for Murder, Rear Window, Vertigo, Psycho, The Birds. With great help from his wife, Alma Reville, she had been his assistant. They had a close relationship. She went through every detail of each of the movies, pointing out whenever the dialogue sounded slightly wrong or there was a flaw in the filming. So the one Hitchcock went into production, he knew exactly how he wanted the entire film to look as soon as they had finished with the screenplay. Alfred Hitchcock, who said the length of a film should be directly related to the endurance of the human bladder. It's the birthday of Annie Oakley, born in Dark County, Ohio in 1860. Came from a Quaker family, but she learned to shoot a rifle. Annie Oakley, who traveled the country for 50 years with her husband Frank Butler, doing a routine in Buffalo Bill's Wild West traveling show. Annie Oakley, who from 30 paces could split a playing card held edge on. She could hit dimes tossed into the air. She could split cigarettes from between her husband's lips. Thomas Edison filmed Annie Oakley at his studio in West Orange, New Jersey, and it was shown in Nickelodeons around the country. People paid five cents apiece to see Annie Oakley, who was the most famous woman in the world for a while. Here's a poem by Emily Dickinson. This is my letter to the world. This is my letter to the world that never wrote to me the simple news that nature told with tender majesty. Her message is committed to hands I cannot see. For love of her, sweet countrymen, judge tenderly of me. This is my letter to the world, poem by Emily Dickinson. That's the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.